morning hello everybody welcome to my channel my name is Chrissy and today I'll be giving you a reading for the 20 give me a pen for the 28th of December I've still got Penny here she's coming over cuddle come on oh she's tired she has to have this little morning sleep everybody excuse me with my puppy she's a bit tired she's just gonna have a sticky beak around the neighborhood first um welcome anybody that's new um to my channel um if you'd like to subscribe that'd be great i've got tons of videos um about the 2023 predictions um rather that are coming up um i've got heaps of different countries as well if you want to go check some of those out i'll leave one of them over here um and i'll close my eyes today and we'll just get started and see what comes up for the 28th of december Ooh, the New Year's rolling around, guys. Um, let's see what we get. <clears throat> God, they're giving me this image, and it's a Star Wars image for any Star Wars fans out there. And it's us with a lightsaber. <clears throat> and I'm getting that saying, may the force be with you. Oh, what does this mean? Hang on. That's what it's saying. It's saying we've all, this is all you brave heart biker, freedom fighters, mavericks, rebels, whatever you want to call yourself. If you're here watching my channel, that means you're awake. Um, <clears throat> we're lighting up everything now. We're using our light. Is it, are they called sabers? Sabers? Sabers. What are they called? I don't know. I'm not a big, I do like Star Wars, but I'm not a huge, like, crazy fan. Um, but we've now got our light, Sabers and um, the may the force be with us. That's what I'm getting. That's just what the gods are giving us. We're lighting things up. We've been lighting things up, I'd say, for a few years by planting seeds, standing up against government. Um, a lot of us have been involved in protests and, and this kind of thing, sharing information as much as we can, even though everything gets squashed and shoved down the algorithms, as we know. So I'm now getting us, like, with this vision of, like, Star Wars, um and our light sabers where uh, we're putting light on these things as well as like um a frequency if you think of that lightsaber it's like a beam of light isn't it and it kind of has a sound it's like woo woo <laughs> oh sorry penny <laughs> it's a fright it's that kind of woo 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 when it cut oh a little puppy out there having a walk when it goes through the air so it feels like this is a vibrational shift and we've contributed to this. This is the shift that's coming. Um, so I'm getting may the force be with you. <laughs> that's the guide saying may the force be with us now. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Um, and they're showing me, of course, um, Darth Vader in the, in the darkness. And as we all know here with Star Wars... The light always wins out in the end. When you think of Darth Vader... Didn't he have... I, I can't remember the story so long ago. But he's kind of... Uh, all I can remember... <laughs> oh, Darth Vader. Um, it was just this evil energy. And that's the image that I'm getting at the moment. Is that we're com combating this evil energy. And we've got the lightsabers. Woo, woo, and there's like... Well, we could say government is like Darth Vader and all these elite leaders and all these people who are trying to run the world, which we know that they are. Um, so I'm getting may the force be with you, meaning us. The guides are like saying to all of us, may the force be with you. And we've all, they've all um, issued us with our light. Is it savers? I want to know what they're called. Um, well, anyway, maybe they're life savers. <laughs> but our light sabers um i would say it is so that's what we've all been issued with now we've even got our lights ready for but it see it's not a battle for us this is what the guides are saying it's actually not a battle for us because this is about an energy force now and it's about about us lighting up like the trail and keeping people like following in our direction <clears throat> that's what i'm getting <clears throat> we're not actually in a battle well, it's like a battle against the darkness. So as long as we can keep our lightsabers lit up and keep the energy, you know, vibration high, um, other people are going to see all this and they're going to follow. So that's what I'm getting. We've now got our lightsabers. <laughs> oh, Star Wars. What a great movie. 
Oh my god, full of robots, <laughs> of course. Not to forget C-3PO and all of that. <laughs> What's the other little one? R2-D2. Oh, funny show. All right, enough of Star Wars. Let's see what else we get today. Oh yes, and China's on the move doing all its threatening as, as I predicted a few weeks ago, wasn't it? Um, China's flying around threatening everybody or trying to be very intimidating, the big, the big power. Oh yes, and now they've got, <clears throat> of course, CV going rife through the whole bloody country because he locked them down for three years. And, uh, of course, people are going to get sick when you open back up. But, no, he's going to open his borders to the world. Hmm, that's a great idea. How's that threat from China? There's some intimidation right there. It wasn't just about the uh, fighter planes. It's about we're going to give you more virus. God, we talked yesterday about the redacted show showing those videos of them talking about the new Sears virus that might be arriving in 2025. Won't that be fun? Um, as they, you know, roll out more plans and ways to kill people off, I guess you could say. Oh, my God. Um, so China, we know they're starting their intimidation programs. <laughs> oh, God, it just never ends. Um, obviously, they're not feeling as powerful as they thought. See, it's China that wants to be at the top of the pyramid. Sorry, I've got Penny on my arm. Um, I keep saying that. It's never been Russia. It's always been China. <clears throat> they want to run the world. Oh, <laughs> great. Imagine that. Is it Xi Ping? What's his name? Imagine him in charge of everyone. Oh, my God, I couldn't cope. Oh, we couldn't cope. We'd have to create our own little society, wouldn't we, guys? We just wouldn't cope. Oh, that sort of communism and that the way that they live. Although a lot of us have got it coming towards us, so we do have to um, stay vigilant. Um, I'll see what else we get today. Get in Germany. <clears throat> I've had Germany so much in the last couple of months, guys. I'm getting that parts of um, the German narrative of the reset are collapsing. They're showing me those parts of the cliff kind of falling off again, meaning that parts of the narrative are collapsing because they don't have the support of the people. I keep saying this. Um, they don't have the support of the people and there's a lot of fight backs in Germany. I've been getting that for a long time. It's not just the bits they're showing us on TV where they raid houses and drag people out and throw them in the slammer or whatever they do. It's not. It's much bigger. We don't see all of this. Remember, we get very limited info on mainstream media. So I do feel there's a lot been going on over there um, and parts of their narrative are failing because people don't want them. Oh, Germany's been fighting back for quite a while now, a few months, I would say. Um, so that's good because maybe it is shaking parts of the narrative and knocking it down. Um, hang on a minute. I keep getting it. The fight backs begin. This is globally. I just keep getting those words. The fight backs begin. Um, People are starting to hear the truths. They are. It's showing me people in their bubble denial suits. This is sleepwalkers who are needing to wake up, unzipping their suits and starting to let information in. Um, well, this is just an image, but into their thoughts. They're starting to let information flow into their experience. So they're kind of letting their guard down. I told you that I feel like the mass psychosis is waning. Um, gosh, that ran for a long time, though, that mass psychosis around the jab wheel. Um, I do feel like it's starting to wane, and um, people aren't falling for a lot of that anymore. People have had enough. Can you imagine if you've been, like, jabbed five times and you're still getting CV virus? You'd have to be thinking something's a little bit sus. And plus, not only having it once, most of the people here that I know that have had it jabbed to the hilt have had it two and three times and been quite ill. They were more ill than anyone who got it that was unjabbed. They got it just like a normal flu, but the, the others were so sick it went on and on and on. Um, so we know pretty much their immune system, sadly, with all the jabs, is has been lowered. We know it has. Um, they talk about immunocompromised. Oh, God. We know who's immunocompromised, don't we, guys? Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, let's see what else we get today. <clears throat> I 
I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting this song. Oh my God. This is for the sleepwalkers and it's that song. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. It's a song about feelings. And it's saying to me that these sleepwalkers are overwhelmed, they're embarrassed, they're ashamed. They feel like a total goose. I said this would happen. When they're waking up, they realize they've been lied to by government and they feel completely stupid. And then they feel stupid because they ostracize and vilified everybody else around the jab world, the mandates, injuries, you name it, everything. Um, called us all, you know, every name under the sun. And now they're feeling stupid. So their feelings are kind of rising up. Um, they're getting overwhelmed. Um, they're feeling intense grief. I'm getting that, that they're feeling a lot of grief um, for their old life because we know it's gone. So I'm getting that song. I don't know who sings it. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. La, 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 la. It's actually quite a pretty song. <laughs> but this is for the sleepwalkers. They're going through, uh, what would you say? Um, a roller coaster ride of feelings. They're up, they're down, they're sad, they're grief, they're ashamed, they're embarrassed, they're feeling foolish. They're, it, this is what they're going through. The sleepwalkers that are waking up are going through their emotional roller coaster or feelings. Um, and that's that's for us to stay detached from as well, the guides are saying. <laughs> Don't go there. Um, they have to go through that journey. That's part of the waking, or waking up process. Um, is to go through your feelings. Because you've got to remember too, that a lot of people um, over their lifetime um, suppress feelings. And we know a lot of men, I know a lot of men are very good at doing that. They push their feelings and emotions right down to their feet and they only let them out at a sporting game or like something like that where it's very safe. Um, so that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that a lot of these people who have had suppressed feelings for many, many years are now having to release them. So it's very, very important for us to stay removed um, in that year ahead to really keep, and the guides keep saying, protecting ourselves. Um, perhaps that's why we've been given the lightsaber as well to protect ourselves um, as well, but to still keep shining that light. Um, let's see where else we go. I'm getting this image today of the Tin Man out of Wizard of Oz. We get some very strange things here, guys, so just bear with me. I get a lot of visuals given to me. And and it's showing that um, this is what the sleepwalkers kind of feel like now. It feels like they've seized up. Like it feels like their joints have gone rusty and they've seized up and they've got to get their life moving again. This is the image that I'm getting. This is why they have to wake up, guys, because they feel stuck. They're feeling stuck. Their energy is stuck. So they've got to start to be able to flow and move again in their life. And this is why they have to face all these feelings and things to get their life moving again. It's like um, oh, it's like they need to be oiled, like they need to spray some, is it WD-30? What's that stuff you spray into a hinge of a door or something to stop it squeaking or to, to get it moving again, like your clothesline or something like that? You have to spray it with a little bit of oil. Well, they're, they're having to spray their, their joints and their oil and get their lives moving again because they've been stagnant and they've seized up and they, it's like showing me all their joints are rusty. Um, this is how these people um, that are waking up, rather, are feeling, the sleepwalkers. They need to get their life moving again. And see, that's why they're going to wake up because they know they have to get moving. They can't stay in this ridiculous narrative anymore. So they're going to look at ways to get moving like the Tin Man and get his joints all oiled and get moving again. But that's why they're going to have to face their feelings. And you think about it, when you get very deep um, feelings suppressed in your body, I always talk about this, it can affect you physically, not only mentally, but it can jam your body up physically. It can cause your body to, I talk about it a lot, to contract and squeeze up very tight. Um, 
you know, we often talk here about being tight in the throat when people during that beginning of all this pandemic and that a lot of us couldn't speak. Um, I know if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, in the very beginning, my throat would be jammed up a lot and I was always <clears throat> having to clear my throat. And I know a lot of you guys went through this as well. We had um, very tight throats and a lot of tension in our necks because we couldn't be heard. No one was hearing us. We couldn't speak out against the narrative. So we got very jammed up in the throat. Well, these are the things that are happening to these people now. Their bodies, um, when you carry a lot of emotions over a long period of time, it starts to um, affect your body physically. And I think most of us know that. There's a great book actually by Louise L. Hay, if anybody knows it. I think it's called... Um, you can heal yourself or something like that. And she's listed all the body ailments and it's really brilliant. It's worth having a look at if you're ever near a bookshop again um, at some stage. Just, um, she talks about every part of your body, the elbow, um, shoulders, and what, what she puts meaning to them. So this is what these people are going through. All the things um, that are gonna actually come out, like the oiling their body, like the Tin Man, it's gonna cause them to like, get moving again with their life it's like us we went through a lot of um breakdowns dark nights of soul we had to go through anxieties and all this kind of thing and look where we are now guys we feel completely different i keep saying it we're like different people we're we're re-energized um we're we're feeling freer we're happier we're, we're just in a much much better headspace um, than we were probably pre-pandemic and for most of our life. I, I've never felt so um, much joy in my life as I have chatting to you guys and the things that we laugh about and just nature. We love getting out in nature and simple things have brought meaning back into our life. It's just great. So that's what they're going to have to go through. They're going to have to deal with these feelings and emotions that they've never wanted to face because that's what the waking up process is. It's changing. I said it yesterday, caterpillar into the butterfly. That's what it is. It's emerging into who you really are and discovering who you are again. I mean, you know, when we're born, that's who we are and then we evolve and our life influences us on our journey um, and can change us. It can cause us to be feel squashed or different things like that. But then eventually, as you wake up, you start to find yourself again. Um, so that's what I'm getting. They have to get moving. This is the year of the shift. I keep saying it. People are waking up. They are. Um, it's actually funny, isn't it? They're showing me us like hanging off this UFO and we've got our lightsabers. And it's like we're up high, though we're up high. There's this image of us up high shining that light. And it's almost to try and lift these people up into a different vibration. We're trying to get them to go higher. I mean, you could almost relate it to as well. They're saying, like us on the top of the mountain, um, moving all our lightsabers and, and trying to highlight to these people, well, come this way. This is where the the joy and the light is. And this is where you'll get the aerial view of all the garbage that the government's well, virtually about to dump on you. Um, so we're sort of, the showing is like hanging on to these like UFO ships. We do some stupid stuff on this channel, but not literally. This is just, you know, from a higher vantage point. But you could say it's on the mountain too, that we're just flashing these lights to try and draw these people to them. You know, like the, they're saying like, the guys are saying like the moth to the flame you know, trying to get these sleepwalkers image as a moth to fly to the flame so then they can become the butterfly. That's kind of the image. It's kind of all connected little sayings, I know. But, you know, these can things can draw an image in your mind sometimes. So we're still doing that. We're still trying to highlight information, um, let people know about Twitter. Twitter did a big drop apparently about COVID. I'm searching for it. There's not much on YouTube. But they did a big drop, maybe redacted or slip one in and we can share that around, guys. But he did release information about the COVID. Yes, misinformation on Twitter being controlled. So uh, we have to spread this stuff, guys, because how are they going to see it? It's not going to be on mainstream media. We know that. So we're going to have to be the ones that are going to get proactive and, and do these things and spread this information. 
Um, hang on, let's see what else we get. Oh, I hope Elon keeps doing this, Elon Musk. We really need that to happen to let people know that other platforms do that too, like YouTube, oh, Facebook, the whole lot. Don't they? They screen every. Look at my channel. They take all my comments. We know they do. You guys keep telling me. Um, I don't even get to see half the comments. It's so sad, isn't it? Because you know that I love to write back to you guys. It's just ridiculous. It's so unfair, isn't it? We, we've certainly been duped a lot over the last few years, guys. Let me see if there's something to close with today. Yeah, I'm just getting this year. People are going to behave really strangely. We got that the other day with the Doors song, People Are Strange. Well, this year, these people are going to be very strange. Like I said, they're moving through their emotional feelings and things and having to face them. So they're going to be acting very strange. We're going to sense it and know it. We're just going to get that vibe. But that's okay because we know it's coming so we can prepare ourselves for that sort of thing. Um... I'm getting this song. Oh, most of you would know it, I'm sure. There's this song from me years ago. It's as old as the hills, and it's called Convoy. And it was about all these trucks in a convoy line, like just like Ottawa, Freedom Fighters, Netherland Farmers. There's going to be a lot of this. We got a great big convoy. Ain't it a beautiful sight? That's the song. It's. I'm pretty sure it's just called Convoy. Really old. And that's the song I'm going to leave you with today because... There's going to be a lot of giant, humongous convoys um, of everything. I think we're going to see everything. We're going to see not only trucks, not only farm trucks. We're going to see garbage trucks. We're going to see buses. We're going to see people. We're going to see everything. And I'm going to leave you with that song today. I think it's from like the 60s or 70s, isn't it? We got a great big convoy. Ain't it a beautiful sight? Oh, it's something like that. Convoy. And then I think they even honk the horns, don't they? We'll throw in a bit of Ottawa horn honking in Canada there. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that means that there's going to be huge fightbacks and big strikes against government this year. That's the visual that I'm seeing. So fingers crossed, that's the truth. So I'm going to leave you with that song, Convoy, today. <laughs> oh, imagine. It's great. I hope that people stand up and fight. I really do. All right, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. I'm going to go walk my doggy because it's like 35 degrees here today. So I need to do that early before it gets hot. And then home to the air conditioning. <laughs> What's the point of the hot weather? I stay in the air conditioning during the middle of the day. It's just too hot to be outside. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know you're going through really shocking blizzards and things over there. Oh my gosh, I've seen some of that footage on the news. So stay inside. I know you can't go anywhere. You're all snowed in over there, most of you. And stay warm, stay safe. Oh, put your heaters on, stuff the government. Hey, um, and I will talk to you very soon. Take care everyone. Bye from me and bye from Penny. <laughs> oh, she's so tired. All right, don't forget to hit the like buttons, guys. Um, please subscribe and please comment down below. Fingers that I get your comments. Okay, bye. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.